Welcome everybody to Androids and Aliens. It's Friday night and we're going to have some fun tonight. But was there ever a better Friday night than a Friday night in the 90s when you could just sit back, turn on ABC and watch Perfect Strangers, Family Matters, Full House and Step by Step? <laughs> I mean, if you're asking me, yes. I think there were better Friday nights yeah, than I've, that. I've had better Friday nights. <laughs> at the time, at the time, there was none better. Matthew, I'm sure you would agree. Were you around in 92? Was I? <laughs> I was living it up in 92. <laughs> what were you That's why I, I wasn't even at home on Friday nights to watch that, that, that sick lineup. No, you were at the youth group dance. <laughs> <laughs> we had a place when I was in middle school called Friday's Place, which was to keep kids off the mean streets of suburban New Jersey. <laughs> on Fridays, and you would go to the, to the high school, you were in middle school, you would go to the high school and they'd have a dance. Also, some knock hockey in the gym for the nerds. I'm sorry, what is it? What? Knob hockey? Knock hockey. <laughs> oh. You never no, played knock like hockey? A little board game, like the board, a, and then you, you, you had the wooden puck. Knock you ever hockey. Played never knock heard hockey? Of it. I know what you're is talking about. Is this like a theme? Dominic the Donkey thing again? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is local to uh, Paramus and wherever Sydney's from. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> little knob hockey. No, I know what you're talking about, Matthew. Knob hockey. You, and you have the red the... sticks. Mm hmm. You never played this. No. You around no, for her forever. It might, it might go by a more normal name from <laughs> our parts of the world. But we didn't call it knob hockey. Yeah, that's. <laughs> 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 gonna go play a little knob it was hockey made with by, the fellas. Made by <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> It was knock and okay. I just love it when Troy's prospecting missions come up with gold like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sending you all a link so you can buy yourselves a nice new set. I'm just going to Google, Google. I'm going to Google Navak. <laughs> Google is actually a new search engine specifically um, for old knob hockey picks. No. I, am, I think we should buy one of these for the office because... I am not going to lie. I had a pretty decent shot when I was in middle school. And yeah. uh, if, if, if it's like riding a bike, I'm going to, I, it's going to be like that one time we played Goldeneye before a live show. And I suddenly <laughs> discovered something I was better at than everybody else in the room. Oh, <laughs> are, they, uh, nice. are they traditional positions like a left wing, right wing, or are you just like a left knob and right knob? What was your position? <laughs> My position is that I'm not playing along with this bit. <laughs> Just curious. I think we all want to know a little bit more about this pastime of yours. <laughs> well, most people were having a good time at the dance to the soulful sounds of uh, Cool in the Gang. <laughs> you were knobbing it up with the boys. Matthew That's was downstairs we're... playing a little knob hockey, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, knob hockey. Oh, well, that's fun. That's fun. Did anybody else watch Friday Night at TGIF when you were a kid? It was a big deal. I can't be the only one that it was like, I feel like it was a huge deal. TGIF on ABC. I was, was perfect. I was already out drinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Skid notwithstanding, Skid was already person. Uh, Joe, what about you? Uh, I don't remember so much Perfect Strangers other than oh. in syndication. So when did that stop as part of like a live Friday night? Because I remember Step by Step and Full House. Were, was that on with Perfect Strangers at a certain well, point? Well, Perfect Strangers was a spinoff of Family Matters. No, excuse me. Family Matters was a spinoff of Perfect Strangers. So Perfect Strangers came first. Uh, but Harriet, the mother from Family Matters, was the elevator operator when uh, Larry and Balky uh, took a job at the Chicago uh, Chronicle, mm -hmm. a fictitious newspaper for the show. Um so I would say that Perfect Strangers was early '90s, and it was did it ever it was cross over with Step by Step? Favorite sitcoms of all time. Uh, it might have been like in the tail run of Step by Step. I think they were trying to find that fourth show to link with the the freight train that was Family Matters, Perfect Strangers, and Full House. And they they tried a bunch of ones. There was one called Baby Talk, and then another one called uh, God. They had a bunch of garbage, and finally Step by Step was the Troy, one that stuck. Step you by are Step full was of great. Shit. You are what? you're so full of shit. What? Ooh. Oh, that's not true. Ooh. They did it is they did overlap by two years. <laughs> <laughs> Eighty six through ninety three was Perfect Strangers. Step by step was ninety one through ninety seven. You shut your knob, Capita Casa. Then moved to CBS. That's I was like. Then moved to CBS for ninety seven and ninety eight. Really? Which show moved to CBS? Step by step. Apparently, I don't remember wow. this at all. 
It was a contract dispute with Patrick Duffy. (laughs) (laughs) Got out of hand. Viacom stepped in. Well, I'm sure this is uh, entertaining to everyone who is uh, 35 and older. Um, But to the rest of us, just play some Andrews and Elliot. Sydney's just looking around like, can you just let me know when I should unmute my mic? Uh, I'm like, I'm like, I know, I know Full House. That played late at night, and I would sometimes wash it as I made tea before Robot Chicken came on, and then I would switch it to Robot Chicken and wash that, and, and then I watch Family Guy and then I fall asleep. Hmm. So that's my you Friday were, as, night. <laughs> as a teen, you were watching Robot Chicken while I was hanging out and drinking with the writers of Robot Chicken. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what was your Friday? So that was your Friday night. It was just Robot Chicken and Full House. Reruns? I don't know. In 1992, I was dead. So. <laughs> You were dead? You dead? I had no soul in 92. Not alive yet? I think you're dead until proven alive. All right, so bad example. (laughs) What did you do in 92 when you were 13, 14 years old? Oh, oh, you know what I was doing? If it was the summer, I was playing manhunt with uh, my neighbors. We were riding quads in the backyard, uh, Mm. trying not to run each other over in the dark. Quads. (laughs) <laughs> wow. We had a very was, different game of manhunt. Uh, yeah, it was on I was going to say. <laughs> we hunted actually actual men. The quads made it uh, that much more real. So. <laughs> Skid, was what was a Friday night when you were 13? When I was 13? Oh, uh, uh, Miami Vice. Miami Vice? Ooh. Yeah, that was Miami Vice. That's a was good on. Friday night. Lyndon Johnson was president, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Ellie, um, what what sort of Swedish traditions uh, circled around Friday night? Do you have a Friday in Sweden? Well, well didn't we talk about this uh, like just like last week we, or something? We did, we I said did, cozy yeah. nights. It's cozy nights. Oh, oh Friday oh, was your yeah. cozy night, right? Yeah, with Disney Club. Disney uh, Club. Cozy and Ellie nights. McBeal. Ellie oh, McBeal. Yeah, yeah you know, I'm set in Boston. You know she's oh. married to Harrison Ford. I know. I'm so jealous. Although. We've been over this a couple of times. Harrison Ford is probably the most attractive man back when he played Indiana Jones. Uh, but then, you know, Callista Flockhart got him. Uh, and so now it's ruined for everyone. I just oh, ruined his, Sucked his soul like a succubus is what you're trying to say? <laughs> the old Flockhart succubus? <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's rude. She's a fan of the show and now she's coming for you. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Flockhart124, one of our uh, biggest Patreon subscribers. Grant, 13 years old. I imagine you were just out smoking weed and shooting guns with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> just riding around in pickup trucks, shooting road signs. I, I was shooting taking my dad's gun to, to, to rob the weed dealers at my local high school. No, I was, uh, I think the TV at the time on Friday nights was Boy Meets World and Sabrina the yep. Teenage Witch. So oh, was yeah, strong. now we're talking. Mm. Uh, yeah. I was probably... Probably playing. Um, that was Baldur's Gate Half Life time. That was uh, yeah. that was when I really leaned in hard to my like middle of the line gateway computer. I told my dad I needed for school, and I just <laughs> played played video games on and Quake. That was a year before the Quake Three demo, and The Matrix oh, came out. Quake. Yes. Wow. I, Must I have been know. nice. When we were thirteen and fourteen, it was Super Nintendo and Killer Instinct. And that yes. was really the only good game that came out for that system. Mm. Anyways, that's the show, everyone. <laughs> Glad everybody was into this opening bit. I guess I should have just been foul and talked about more more scatological topics. <laughs> Let's find out what David Winters did when he was 14 on a Friday night. Mr. David Winters, everybody. Hey. Hello. Hello. David, what will you do? Just I'm gonna go, balance I'm gonna go in your with... checkbook? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, <laughs> the times tables or, or something like that. A nice crossword. Uh, Abacus. Working on a brief. Actually, uh, You're working me, on a Friday brief. Day. You got to get it in. Yeah. <laughs> for law school. For the judge, ladies and chambers. <laughs> uh, in, in like 93, 94, Friday nights, uh, X-Files was probably oh. the show that I was watching. Yeah. Now we're talking finally a good show. Man, but I tried watching a couple X Files uh, at that age, and I just I couldn't do it. I was so oh, yeah, scared. Totally changed oh. me permanently. I was like <laughs> scarred. I was obsessed. <laughs> those those alien episodes terrified me, and I was like, nope, I'm good on that. That show was too scary. <laughs> Such a good show. I would beg to I would beg to go hang out with my my friend across the street on Friday nights, and the mom would be like, "Why do you always go over there on Friday nights?" I'm like, "I don't know." And then it's because the X Files was on. His parents didn't give a shit what we watched. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I loved having friends with parents like that. Uh, yeah. it was great until you reached high school and you realized 
you need better parents. <laughs> was I the only kid who, um, I bet you Joe did this. And let me look at the around the room here. Possibly one more person. Uh, I wasn't allowed to watch uh, shit like that. And so if I went to my buddy's house and he put it on, I would leave the room. I'd be like, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to watch this. I, uh, I know. Oh, no. I would say, I think, I'm, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think if anyone else did that, it was Joe. Joe? Um, I have done it, but I definitely, so the way, it, my memory of it is I, there was one particular guy I remember growing up with whose parents didn't give a shit. I think his parents were divorced and it was like, he just lived with his dad. He just didn't care. And he had so many video games. It's like just, you know, one of those like columns of cartridges, you know what I mean? And like a, a bookshelf that I would just stare at like, <laughs> that's oh a real God. jackpot. A friend with a recently divorced dad living with him is a huge <laughs> jackpot for any other kid. Jack he subscribed to the Spice Channel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh oh, he's got Cinemax. And so, yeah, we go over there and I remember watching, I think it was like Friday the 13th or something like that. And he was, and I knew I couldn't do it. And I made it like a fuss about it. And McDermott was there and he was like, stop being such a Come on, just watch it. <laughs> and I remember sitting there watching it and like sweating and like not because of the horror of the movie, but because I literally just assumed that at any minute my mom was going to knock on the door for some <laughs> absolutely bizarre reason that has no basis in reality. But I would be sitting there like looking out the window, like everyone's up peeling back curtains. Like, is, did, did I just hear a car pull up? Did I hear a car door? Is that my mom? <laughs> I was so scared of getting in trouble, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's how I was like. I just I was like, those are the rules. I just I don't question them. Those are the rules. My right. parents said I'm not allowed to watch this, so I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to go sit in the bathroom. Really? Yeah. Really? I wouldn't do it. MTV. I wasn't allowed to watch MTV, and like that was the first thing I started sneaking. Because at a certain point, I got to an age where I was like, this really isn't that bad. Uh, and so I would I would watch that. Um, I think it came down to like my parents uh, or my mom, who was the more overprotective one. Like she didn't care about like sex or, or, or too much sex or too much violence. She was worried about when they mixed those genres. She was like, I don't want him to see that because his brain just doesn't know, you know, yet that that's not, uh, that's not a good thing. And so I was like, well, that's pretty astute of you, Ma. But uh, she went too far overboard and was too overprotective for too long. And then she finally let go. And I'm the man you see before you. Right. So uh, then when you went to <laughs> your all boys high school, you just went nuts. <laughs> yeah, it was it was college. Even all, but I didn't drink until I was in college. Uh, I didn't even realize that kids were like drinking, doing, smoking weed when the. I was like, where I'd come? We do have like a uh, cast party for a play, and I'm like, why is the crew always late? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the what are they doing out in the woods? What do you those mean crazy they're guys? playing knob hockey. I think they're playing knob hockey. Those sons of bitches. They didn't fight me. Smell funny. Since when was the crew in the band friends? <laughs> That's what, that, that was why I started to put that together. Oh man. Uh, yeah. No, I was. I don't know. I don't think I was innocent. I, I guess there was an, a certain level of innocence there, but it was more just like eh, not interested. And late in the college, I was like, all right, let's do this. Oh, what about man. you, Sid? Did you smoke a ton of weed in high school? You know what's funny? Everybody thought I smoked weed. Uh, I really I didn't. I did. I dealt it. I did. I did. I was <laughs> giving away for free. I was like, I'm not gonna smoke it. Um, yeah. No. I. I mean, like, I guess I drank in high school. I was like a very normal high schooler. I got straight A's. I had friends in like every clique because I did sports and theater. Um, so I think nobody could place me. They were like, "We think you do drugs, but we're not so sure." Right. Um, you act like you're doing drugs. They're like, you smell weird. And I was like, I was playing Ultimate Frisbee till 2 a.m. And they're like, dang it. That's why you smell weird. It's not weed. You're sweaty. Um, That's yeah, just I don't know. Patchouli. I was a high school kid. But I definitely like didn't listen to my parents like you did, Troy. I mean, if I was at a friend's house. I mean, But then again, my parents introduced me to Jaws, The Cell, Rock or Horror, Rocky Horror Picture Show, and Spinal Tap when I was like 10. All at the same time. They were like, here's a bunch of great movies. Uh, so I think I was forever changed. Wow. I wish I saw this as Spinal Tap when I was a little younger. I think I would have understood a little bit more about humor. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Sydney, that's, that's not weed. I'm just sweaty. Should be the title of your autobiography. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Matthew, you're absolutely right. Thank you so much. I'm writing this down mentally. I took a note. <laughs> that Sydney has got a real dank musk to her. <laughs> that's real, not weed. Real earthy. I'm just sweaty. It's a real earthy I'm gonna smell. A little catty. Smell. <laughs> What's that? Northern Lights? 
<laughs> Purple powwow? No, it's just sitting. <laughs> Purple powwow. Well, Friday nights have certainly changed for all of us since we were teens, but now they're exactly the same. We play a little game called Androids and Aliens. L.A.M., I hope you brought a backup character. Well, apropos nothing, Troy, um, um, you look That's great today. You look great today. Um, <laughs> Thank you, I didn't even shave. Yeah, like, I think you look, actually, you look better like that way. Oh. You should never shave. You're like a little five o'clock shadow there with the Cheerios. I wish if I could have a five o'clock. Oh no! Oh no! It means something. You got grip. You got grip. I didn't see that coming at all. That was like it was a fastball right in the head. It knocked him right off the plate. Oh my god! I actually have been hit in the head with a baseball with my friend. That explains a lot. I know. <laughs> now, yeah. Ellie, are you being genuine, or are you just trying to have me uh, not attack you so that you die? I mean, no, no, I'm being genuine. I also, I prepared something for you. Um, oh. I prepared a list. Five things I like about Croy. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, oh. Do you want to spread oh. them out over the hour and a half, or do you want to just let them all loose right now? I can let them all loose. Please. Uh, so, number one, um, I like your squat form. I th- wish I could squat <laughs> like you. That's very nice. <laughs> Take note, America and other countries. Yeah. Excellent squad for <laughs> Um Number two, uh, I think you do great NPC voices, f- oh, especially nice. the captain uh, from the Rusty Rivet. Rivet? Uh, uh, yes, she, Alara she's, Aquana. She's very hot. Um, mm-hmm. I like that. That's what that. I was going for. And then, um, and then I don't have anything more right now. I, it's a list. It's a, it's a working I've been working <laughs> on it for progress. six days, and I well, I got two, so I really thought that that was impressive. Well, Listen, you know, two is more than start. she probably thought she was going to end up with. So <laughs> it's a great start. And you know, when you're out of this around into this, you'll have plenty of time to think up the other three for the rest of the ninety minutes. Um, so Dude, I appreciate I, that. I have a backup character, though. I do have a backup oh, character. Good. Good. And so uh, we'll see. But no, I, I actually did some math. And you know how bad I am at math. But I think I got this one. Uh, so I think you will have to hit me like five times mm-hmm. while I'm dying for me to actually die, I think. I'll tell you what's going to happen. It's really going to be uh, not so much me, but your crew. Because they're in a predicament and you need the focus taken off of you. This is a a, a desperate group of people. In fact, it's part of their name. I can tell you right now, they're called the Desperate Hunger. This is their particular sect. This is what they do. They just, I don't know, the Devourer is something that I can't quite, I'm sure there are, it's not like, oh, it's, uh, it's like Satan worship, you know? No, it's not quite like that. It's not nihilism either. It's just like destruction and, and reveling in destruction for destruction's sake, so much so that you'll just die because even that's uh, a, a, a way of being devout to this thing. It's it's really, really dark. And I, I don't even think I'm playing up as dark as it could be, because this is a family show after all. This is Step by Step comes on right after. Um, so I just want to impress upon you that like if I try to kill you, it's not me just being a dick. It's me playing these cultists the way they're supposed to be played. But yeah. you've got five other crew members that might be able to save you. It's just a, it's a tricky situation. This is a powerful... Uh, entity that is casting these spells and tossing them at you <clears throat> no i think you should like i think that this is what like it, this is what i like with uh with this game particularly is that um it is hard and so i think you know when you're doing something good you get uh, you get like uh, awarded and when you do something shitty uh, like being a <laughs> player who runs into a dark room <laughs> Uh, <laughs> without clearing really it. far away from their companions having no idea what's in there yeah exactly uh, then you get penalized a little bit but then like so so I don't think you should hold back uh, but I but like and I also I don't think you would be a dick uh, like because it's like I think it's a lot more fun when it's actually a challenge because then when you do succeed it's a lot more rewarding you know what? That sounds like the third thing on your list of things you like about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I like that about the Starfinder. <laughs> right you know right you down. didn't design role-playing games, right, Troy? <laughs> well. <laughs> well. We did choose this game. Well. Hey. Are we going to split hairs here? Yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I don't know about everybody else, but I sort of slept on this. I don't know what it was. I just sort of like, for some reason, I... 
I think I blocked it out because this was so horrible that we walked <laughs> right into this encounter. And I just sort of like when we were getting ready tonight, I l- completely forgot where we were. And I thought that we had like just mopped up outside and we're like walking into this <laughs> complex. And I opened up roll 20 and I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. Ellie's going to die and then we're all going to die. Like that was like, I completely forgot that that's where we were. So yeah, it's it's ugly. Well, I must and say I'm terrified. I'm, before we continue, I also want to say number 4 on the Troy being good list Ooh. is that he hired Sydney because I think Sydney might have actually saved me with Shadow McKee. Like I think that that will probably be what what because that um that that thingy um with, took uh, took away the action from from Linnea for a while. So I think that was the smartest move so far. What so a wonderful we- compliment to Troy. This has got to make you feel good, Troy. <laughs> yeah, you know. You ever heard anything she- nicer than that about you? you? The worst like- thing the worst thing is she doesn't realize Sydney was hired to replace her and it just didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> so but you know what? Mean. Keep it as number four. Keep it as number four. <laughs> so unbelievably uh, mean. Actually, Joe, I did the same thing. Uh, I did the same thing you did, completely forgetting where we were. But I did remember, Ellie, that we texted after the show um, last week because we both were like, that was fucking crazy. Uh, and you were like, thank you so much for sending in the shadow, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, man, I was so deep in the role play. It wasn't even like for Ellie the player like it was Callum for Lynette you know it was just like so yeah. deep like he's got to do something uh, but yeah I opened up roll 20 and I was like oh we're fucked well done <laughs> guys, I like gay. that you guys gay. text text about the show after the show that's how I know I got gotcha. you <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna die <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's play some Starfinder here. Uh, you guys are at this. Uh, you're at the gate of the Twelve Suns. You don't know what the hell's going on here. There's some weird gravitational forces at work that are holding these suns, these twelve suns, in place with these little planets all encircling them at weird orbits. They all seem to be linked up. Again, strange gravitational things happening. You see that there's life on one of these planetoids. You go in. The jungle has been burnt wide open, no doubt from these uh, cultists that arrived uh, before you. They went up, blew the doors open of what has to be some sort of control station and have come in here and started to wreak havoc. You've seen what they can do. You've seen this all the way back to uh, Castrovel and then what they did, uh, their, their sort of underground base in that asteroid. And now they're doing something here. You know what they're after. They're after the stellar degenerator. You don't know how that is accessed, if it can be accessed, if they even have the means to do it, but you don't want to wait around to find out. So you're kind of racing against the clock because you don't know how long they've even been in here they're always at least a step ahead you come in here you fight some cultists out front you see find a long hallway you go into the first door to the south and this apparition appears this kish figure huge kind of like i don't think i use this uh uh metaphor but it like uh or analogy, whatever. It kind of looks like the uh, Palpatine hologram in uh, Empire, you know, before they cast Ian McDermott as, mm-hmm. uh, and then they get, did the it again. old woman. With, yeah, it was an old woman. And then they did it again with Snoke um, with the uh, the new movies. Anyways, it's kind of like that, just this large hologram, and he's just like, vroom, 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 like moving all these bots around. You see other rooms on these screens, and he's like trying to control them, struggling to do so, and it's like, mm, come on in, let's have a conversation. And Friss is like, something ain't right, dives out of the room, and boom, he sets off some trap uh, that blasts both Dax and Linnea. Linnea takes a real beating from that. <clears throat> Both of you forget to heal, and you go into the next room, and Didn't it, forget. it's a situation. Intended, intended not to heal. Intended not to. Ellie probably should have uh, healed Linnea. That was a big blast. Definitely. You, you made your reflex save. Definitely didn't think we were opening a boss door. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, you come in here, and I mean, it is... It looks like a knob hockey game is breaking out. It's that type of situation. <laughs> there are... Uh, multiple cultists, multiple shadows, and then this sort of boss-looking shadow in the back who is casting pretty nasty spells. Uh, it is a complicated room. You're, most of you are all sort of bottlenecked uh, in the front trying to get around and up the ramp, up the stairs to get this to the second half of the room. Kreska finally was like, I'm just going to fly up. Kreska flies up, uh, but Linnea rushes in before you even knew what was on the other side of this these computer screens and you're just surrounded you're getting hit by spells you're getting hit by cultists 
it's bad news bears. Meanwhile, on all of the screens, the image of this Kish that set off this trap is kind of half taunting you, half inspiring the group around you. I have that image up here on the screen. Uh, you know, it's kind of, I wish I'd, I had a great analogy in my head the other day of what it's like, and I can't, I can't think, but just think very sci-fi, like you're fighting and this thing is just doom, 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 appearing on all the monitors, just saying some stuff that you're just hearing while you're trying to survive. Oh. We ended the uh, episode last week with this boss shadow, we'll call her, um, ready to take an action. She's going to take a page out of Callum's book and hurl a force disc at Kreska. Whoa. Oh. If well, that force disc hits, then she will start hitting the rest of Kreska's allies, all within 15 feet, which will be Friss, followed by Dax, maybe Callum, maybe Qualo. You're all within 15 feet of each other. So Are they? I'm out they're, of the room. They're downstairs. And how far did I say that distance was? I don't think it's... It, I'll tell you this. It's less than 15 feet. Mm. But yeah, Callum's out of the room. Callum, maybe... We'll see. It's a wacky spell. Might just bounce around. Let's start with Kreska. To hit against EAC, that is going to be a 26. That is my EAC exact. Oh, oh no. <laughs> man. Wow. To quote the great... Cat Stevens, Skid. I know you'll disagree. Your opinion is your opinion is incorrect. Uh, the first cut is the deepest because the first target of the hurl force disc takes the most damage here. Let me see. Yep, that's going to be three d six. The first cut is the deepest, baby. I know that's going to be eleven points of damage to Kreska. It will then ricochet to. Dr. Friss! Dr. Friss, this one's coming at you. Uh, boom, 24 against the AC. That is a hit. Oh, oh God, that was a Jesus. tweener for me. Roots, uh, my goots. This one will be a little less as opposed to 3d6. This is going to be 2d6 to all the next targets, secondary, tertiary, you know, the ones that come after that. Uh, all right, that is going to be eight points of damage to the good doctor. <sighs> I'm going to go after Dax here. I think Dax has a pretty good AC. I haven't rolled well the first two times. Here comes the good roll against Dax. Ooh, cracked an eye. That was a close one. That was a bad roll. Ooh, that's going to be it. That's going to be a 33 against EAC. That's going to hit oh, you for 10 points of damage. Ooh. Let's keep it going. Qualo against EAC. I'll tell you this right now. If I hit Qualo, I'm going to go after Callum. I'm going to say it's just ping pongs. If I miss, well, then obviously I can't go after Callum. That is going to be a 29 against EAC. Oh, oh Jesus. Uh, hit. That is a, how are you? Nine points of damage. And then finally, boom, comes out against Callum. I, got, I just granted that die right out of my box. Ooh, that is a low roll. That is going to be a 23 against EAC. That's a miss. Also, I'm outside the room, so I... Re- oh, did I... you shut the doors behind you for the force <laughs> disc? Are they open? Yes, they're open. It's a yeah, it misses. Action. It misses. He dodges out <laughs> of the way. They go we, the open we were doors. able to enter the room uh, uh, unimpeded. Ah, uh, I see. You Star Trek door. door, you weird witch whopper. Well, he, he dodges out of the way. He nice, of Callum. The way. Yes, it was just like a, a game of, of ultimate frisbee on the quad. While you were <laughs> dealing weed, dear high school friends. <laughs> Slinging weed and playing an, an ultimate frisbee. That is her turn. Let's keep the party rolling with Callum. Callum, just as the disc flies by you, what do you do? Yeah, da. Um, <laughs> Callum. <laughs> Callum, uh, Callum in the moment. Uh, <laughs> Callum. 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 DJ uh, Callum. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Another one. Gets uh, real nervous as that, because he didn't even see that. That was like pinging around the room and then through the open door, you know, like all of a sudden, whoo, like right by his head. I think he gets very nervous in the moment and turns invisible completely. <laughs> and now I am going to... Run, 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 run into the room. Like a frightened turtle, Callum goes invisible and slides, slides, Uh. slippity slides into the room. 
There's moving right along. Wait, David. Oh, yes. Dave, David, I hear you hemming and hawing. What's yeah. going on over there? There's Folks, let's go to the David cam real quick. <laughs> I think there's a little problem there. Um, Why? The senses on those shades. Um, Ooh. They got that blind sight life. David, you got a no. good brain because as he's as Callum's running, I'm like, I wonder if they can see him. God. Ah, yes, blind sight. No. Blinded wow. by blind what sight. A turn. What a waste of a turn. What an absolute waste of a spell slot and a turn. Thank you so much, David. Not a total <laughs> waste. Not a total waste. Um, it just will halt your movement right around Shma <laughs> as they both take an attack of opportunity against you. Uh, not as bad. Uh, as and you now thought. you're between Dax and the. Oh my god. Oh my yep. god. Between a Qualo and a Hard Dax. Here we go. Wait, two. I can't. Well, I can't stumble through and take the attack of opportunity. Are they going to halt me in my tracks? Yeah. I mean, well, that's they an interesting question. They are incorporeal, right? So. Yeah. Oh, no. Can you walk through an incorporeal creature? Would that be you a fifty percent chance? You definitely to, provoke to walk through. I just don't. I think that they're, you know, they 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 get the attacks. Is basically it. And yeah, yeah, they yeah. definitely yeah. get the attacks. It's, it's, it's just a question of if she can keep moving. Basically. Can you then walk through them? It's interesting. I think I think so. Well, Ellie thinks so. So clearly that's the. Uh, <laughs> no, I think she's right. If they're with. incorporeal, they don't have any physical form. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they can they yeah. can enter and pass through solid objects, so I don't see why yeah. solid objects couldn't enter and pass through them effectively. It's a good point. It's a good point. Uh, well, this is what I'll do. I'll take the attacks, and then um, hopefully the true answer will reveal itself. First attack. Uh, ooh, 28 against ooh. EAC. I mean, yeah, that's going to hit. <laughs> Ow. Okay, this is going to be acid damage against... Oh, my D4. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be six points of damage. Second attack, because there's two of them. Uh, ooh, that's gonna be close. Probably a miss. Nineteen against the AC. That is a miss. Miss. So they both there miss. David, Callum. what's the ruling on incorporeal? So incorporeal creatures cannot take any physical actions that would move or manipulate an opponent or its equipment. So presumably it works the other way too. If they can't move or manipulate you, it. Shouldn't matter the other way. So that's what we in the business call R A I. Rules is interpreted. Callum, move through that space. Woo! Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Let's talk about the next character's turn. Uh, I call him here on the initiative tracker Shadow Number One. Which let me see which one is one. Oh, it's the one right next to Callum. Is that is it real quick though? Is that all your movement, Callum? Is it only twenty five feet? Oh, I have 30. Let me move. Sorry, one more square. Thank you, David. Uh, and then quick question. Yeah. Here's where it gets real complicated. They're We're incorporeal. Mm -hmm. They took, they attacked me. Yeah. But they didn't technically touch me. Am I still invisible? Yeah. Yeah, you Because you would have go... to attack them to lose yeah. your invisibility. Okay. Not the okay. other way around. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, and their touch goes like through your body and just cool. burns your insides. Uh here, I'll do it again. Uh, this guy is going to move. Wow, you know what? Yeah, he's going to slide to you. Can't do two attacks, so I will do one. Here we go. Incorporeal touch. Natural two. That is a miss. <laughs> nice, Callum. Let's nice. Go. Huge. So, Callum, you took that one hit. You provoked twice. You drew one of them towards you, and they missed. So, that was a, uh, a good move at the end of the day. Going to the top of next round. I forgot to write what round it is, so we'll call it round H. Dax, you're up. Uh, Dax. <laughs> uh, Dax is going to. He's going to. Man. He can see and see the boss man uh, or boss woman, and but he's yeah, got to get to Linnea, where she's two levels up. You can see uh, she gets a little bit of cover, um, but yeah, you you do have a beat. Oh boy! Um, all right, he's going to try to save Linnea. Okay. Awesome. Um. So well, he, someone's going. He to can get to there. Chris. Um, now uh, he will provoke, but they use their reaction, right? Or, or does the ones the one reset? So one reset, yeah, because the other one yeah. hasn't had its turn. Does yet. it reset at the top of the round, or when their turn comes back around again? I don't know what the. 
I think it's Blue turn. Sritnar. I think you regain your reaction on your turn in general. I'm not totally sure on Starfinder. Right, but... yeah. I know we've, play, we've probably played it both ways. Um, but I, I, uh, I, you I, regain I, the I, action at the start of your turn, is what the okay, great. says. Um, so, yeah, you're fine, Dax. That will not provoke. I don't see you. Where are you? Oh, yeah, there. So you were just ran through them. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, well, it would still would provoke from one. Because yeah, one, one did just, have the one a that turn. just acted and moved ah, over towards right. Callum. All right, so yeah. the one that just attacked Callum, uh, you get ready? Natural 20, it's coming. I can feel it. No. Ooh, sitting on it, missed it. Uh, that is going to be a shabba lava ding dong 19 against EAC. Miss. Okay. Um, all right, so he's up there, and he's got his yellow star plasma array. Now, what he sees is, is Linnea is down, or she has, like, one hit point? She's not down no. yet. No, no, I um, am. I'm good. <laughs> Okay, so he's going to get up there to try to scope the the land there and see that you're still up and fighting and presume that you're fine. Uh, and he'll fire over top of Linnea at the boss. Um, All right, I'm going to give uh, I'm going to give her a, a a bonus to the AC just because of where you're shooting here. Um, she is up there, but you're still shooting past these monitors. So okay, and take that bonus and reduce it by two, whatever it is. You can't just make up rules. You can't just make up rules. <laughs> this isn't uh, full house. It's uh, no. Tell me why. Sniper's aim. You. Sniper's aim. Yeah. Okay. So that was my new ninth level ability. That's really a first level ability, but it's uh, ignore two points of AC from cover. So um, oh, wonderful. Lower that uh, whatever that you were giving it by two, and okay, I will great. fire once. And you don't need to use a move right. action to get that aim like you would with like a, this aiming a sniper rifle. Yeah, that, that, that's how I understand it. It is just when you make a ranged attack against a target with cover, reduce the AC bonus from cover by two. Okay. Uh, you can't use it against a creature with total cover, but that's not what we're dealing with here, it sounds like. So uh, firing off one shot for the yellow star plasma ray. Come on, Dex. Uh, that's a 29 against EAC. Yeah. Oh. That is a hit. Okay, thank God. Oh, my God, thank God. Uh, all right, then I'm missing a die. Sorry about that, guys. It's a little slow. That's pretty <laughs> juicy. 20. I Sorry. I, I added it wrong. That is 22 points of damage that are split. Uh, 11 fire and 11 electricity. Okay, 22 points of damage. Roll a will save. Whoa. Okay. Will save. Uh, ugh, 12. You boom, you hit her, but just as that uh, bullet uh, hits her and you see her wince, ah, you plasma wince beam. as well. Uh, plasma beam. Oh, uh, right. As she shares oh, pain no. with you. Right. And she takes nine points less damage and you take those nine points of damage. <laughs> so she will only take Ouch. 13. Uh, well, and Troy, um, she's incorporeal. And even though that's a energy attack, she only takes half in the first place. That's right. So then so do I only been, take half? No, it would, it would have been 11 points of damage. You take nine of it. She only takes two points of damage. So wait, why do I take all of it? You, you, you share her pain. <laughs> the pain she's feeling. Pain she's feeling. So basically she would have taken 11 points of damage. She's allowed to share up to nine points of it. And she's a giver. So she gives you nine. And she's just going to take two. So generous. Yeah, well, yeah generous. Share pain is up to your mystic level. Yes. I have this ability. So that right. uh, lifts the curtain. This is a ninth level situation you're dealing with here, uh, which is also what level you are at, correct? It's true. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. So commensurate uh, level. Uh, all right, Dax. Linnea, you, you're maybe you're just you're about to give up hope, and you feel that plasma be beam just whip by you. And find purchase on this woman doing more damage to Dax in the process. Yeah. It is Shadow number three's turn now. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Shadow number three is out of the fight. Oh, no. Yes. Shadow number three is dead beneath Friss's feet. <laughs> Do they really die, though? They're just shadows. The shadow knows. It's Qualo's turn. Oh, boy. I believe it is round two because I remember the rounds taking forever last time. Yes. I, I only bring it up because I don't want to be fully attuned ahead of schedule. So I am two-thirds of the way to being fully photon attuned. Something will uh, happen then. Is and it just, only round two? It is only round two. I acted only one time wow. in the entire wow. last stream, and I was like... 
uh, I remember like later in the episode, I was like, and it's still round one. <laughs> so I had a uh, surprise attack when the, oh, okay. when you guys walked in, and then we started initiative, and I mean, there was just a lot going on. So that's right. Uh, okay. Uh, Koala so will take a uh, move equivalent action to uh, sheathe his weapon in plasma, dealing fire damage for strikes from here on out and additional fire damage because he is photon attuned. The first roll will probably not hit. Will a 20 hit the shade? It sure will, good buddy. Oh, great. Uh, fantastic. Uh, so then that will be a total of plus one. 30 points of uh, regular magical damage and one point of fire. Well, it's all fire damage, so 31 points of fire damage. <laughs> all right. Sorry about so, that. Did you just call did, it regular fire or regular, regular magic damage? Regular garden variety <laughs> magic damage. <laughs> regular does, run uh, of the mill magic. Not so that, uh, does that all go through, David? I'm just a little uh, more. That's that going to be just 50, 50 as well. 50, so it's, right? Yeah. Well, no, uh, half. Half. Uh, right. so we'll, which in this case yeah, is, yeah, 50, sorry, which is yeah. 50 points of death yep. 50 points yes. well, it's it's dead no uh no yeah 15 points of damage but you do land a devastating hit did you uh attack twice or was that one attack? no i use one move action to cover my weapon in plasma little move a quivac i hear mm-hmm. you uh all right let's go to captain kreska captain what do you want to do this you might have less of a one less mouth to feed or two after this <laughs> fight how bad does linnea look she looks fine. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, do you want? Am I allowed to say the exact number? Yeah, seventeen. Uh, uh, I no, am twelve. Technically, you're not. No, I, that wasn't what I was asking for. Like, are you on death's door, or are you still got some fight left in you? I, I have some fight left in me. Uh, All right. But like so, one hit is gonna take me down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she says. Well, not to put that was wonderful. On it. That was how amazing. Many, how many points of fight would you say you have left? <laughs> <in you? laughs> am, I, am I really not allowed to say? If you had to quantify your it's frowned upon. your it's frowned upon. resolve as a character <laughs> in this combat, I would you say to put I a have, number have, on it. I have total more than ten, but uh, <laughs> uh, uh, minus. Plus uh, seven. <laughs> seven. Okay. Plus seven. Stop this. Stop this. This is. Was that right. somehow. L- there are people morbid? cringing while watching this. <laughs> What's less helpful? Yeah, you know, now I think she's fine. I, I don't <laughs> know. I have no idea what stage she's in. Resolved. Let's just say a regular attack would probably. I mean, she's bleeding. Okay, she's bleeding out of her ears. Then you know it's bad. Then it's like brain hemorrhage. That so, is true. So yeah. she's been listening she, to, to Dax and Koala's band a lot. I really don't want her to die. Please save her because we got Steve now. We got Steve, the nice robot. I want to com- meet him again. Uh, okay, Kres- Kreska is going to fire her jump jets up again and just go straight 30 feet through the air to here. <laughs> yeah, oh, like so oh, uh, And land there i believe i can i'm gonna i'm gonna make the argument that i should avoid the attack of opportunity because i'm going i'm arcing through the air and boom but uh-huh. uh, that's I'm, my I'm fine with that it's okay. if they had reached maybe i'd argue but yeah no that's fine okay and then uh now uh she will take a swing with her vest claws at this uh this uh, scary fellow who's attacking my crew me- crew member okay Ooh. and i rolled a natural 20. There we go. Yes. Turn it all around. Wow. Well, he played it so wow. well. It could have easily been a one, the way right. that you presented it. I know. I, I thought know. maybe one. There was a little suspense there. Uh, <laughs> now I'm going to ask the question we ask literally every episode. Do I roll tw- roll double dice or do I just double the damage on my regular dice? Roll twice. Double roll twice. twice. Roll twice. Okay. Thank you. That's what I thought the answer was, but I still don't know. No idea. <laughs> In fact... I don't remember what the answer just was. <laughs> I already <laughs> forgot it. Answers like that just, I'm like, nope, no room for that in my brain today. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'll ask later on in the episode. Uh, that's 31 points of slashing damages, Ooh. slashing damage that counts as magical for the purposes of DR. 31, so 15 total. He's not a shadow. No, 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 not, not him. no. Sorry. Nice drive. Uh, 30, <laughs> 31 points of damage? Yes. Okay. <laughs> It's just a man, Lavalle. Fifteen points <laughs> bleeds of blood. Okay. All right, fair enough. All right, so you uh, you really lay into this guy. Um, what do you say to this fella? 
I say, pick on someone your own size. You want to play a little knob hockey? Knob <laughs> <laughs> hockey? I'm not wearing knob hockey <laughs> <Shut up>. <laughs> You just got knobbed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's at this point we should probably take a quick word from our sponsor, Knob Hockey. <laughs> that was a horrifying commercial to watch. <laughs> but now I know how the game is played. Really, really inappropriate uh, for. <laughs> it's, not, it's not for all audiences, that commercial. You played that when you were 13? Yeah, in a, in a school. Wow. I'm 42. I'm not old enough for knob hockey. Uh, it is I remember Linnaeus seeing when turn. you were a kid. Like, I, I remember seeing, I think I want to say it was like a teenager. Like, you would see like uh, commercials from Europe. It'd be like on HBO or something. And it'd be like a little like documentary thing. It'd be like, this commercial plays in the Netherlands. And there's just like yeah. a nude woman. Like, in the yeah. commercial. <laughs> yeah. like, what is this? <laughs> yep. It's so just like. Strange. I yeah, never just, that. It's like, just, just like really she, offensive commercials. Right. Very sexual is she giving a commercials. hand job to a sheep? Like, what is happening right now? And that's a commercial for certs? <laughs> Wait, so Joe, you would leave the room? You would leave the room for Friday the 13th, but you'd watch that? Uh, yeah, I, I can't. Uh, look, it's a I commercial. The fifth. I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, Your Honor, do I don't sets? recall. Uh, well done. What does that have to do with fresh breath? Remember <laughs> certs? God. Anyways, it's Linnea's turn. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I've, I've, I've been trying to figure out what the hell am I supposed to do, and I think I'm gonna make the biggest mistake of my life. I like and it already. So, um, um, I'm gonna do a little tumble. I'm gonna try to get the fuck out of there. You tumbin? I'm tumbin. I'm tumbin, right, babe. You're going to You're tumbin tumbin away. I'm You're going, going to, to tumbin. 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 Is that, is that tumbleweed rolling in? <laughs> uh, all right, so you want to go. I will you wanna try, try to. And, you want to move away without provoking. No, 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 no. Uh, you want to no, tumble no, no, through? No, no, no. I want to move so I'm cornering. Uh, so I walk up here, basically. A tumble up there. Oh. All right, so you want to move through the enemy square. David, can I get a quick DC on that? Yeah, so it's going to be. It's DC 15 or 20, right? Well, it's going to be two, threat, two threatened squares. You're not going through the space, so it's going to be 15 plus one and a half times the CR. Um, yeah. Not for CR. nothing, Ellie, but if you go to this square, you don't have to tumble, and we'd be flanking. I don't know if that's what you th you're thinking, but it does give no, us I a was, bonus. I, I was going to continue then and attack this shade woman. Oh, okay. That's a lot of threatened squares. Yeah, so th that's going to be uh, for Joint? the first square, it's going to be uh, DC 25 ref or, uh, acrobatics, and then DC yeah. 27 on the subsequent square. Okay, cool. Do you, don't you also uh, move at half speed, or is that not in Starfinder? Um, you Good do question. move at half speed as well, but yeah, she so has like, movement. So I if have you the haste activated. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so DC 25, 27, and then 29, right? Uh, or is it three? Oh, it is three. Fuck. Let's my move life. back to where you started. So yeah, uh, right. It's and then one, diagonal, two, and then moving three. Oh, four, right? One, two, yeah. Every four. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Threatened squares. Yeah. Twenty-five, twenty-seven. Oh, excuse me. I'll, I'll take that diagonal. Twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-nine, thirty-one. Jesus, the last one is also Jesus Christ. Okay, never mind. This is the dumbest idea. <laughs> Um, I, I I'm sorry, you're pot committed. I need you to start rolling. <laughs> really, really? Okay. Well, crap. also okay. remember, no, I'm just yanking your chain. <laughs> also, Ellie, just remember that he, that you're um, going to take nine points of damage no matter what you do, just from hitting. Like if you just hit the boss. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just gonna. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna go a full tech. <laughs> no, I, I, I want to take that back though, real quick, because it's tumbling is a move, uh, is a move action. You move at half uh, speed. Blah blah blah. Um, DC. Uh, but it's moving through an opponent's threatened area. It's not on a per threatened square basis. That plus two thing that we do has to do with uh, additional, additional opponents. Additional opponents. Uh, threatening okay, the same that makes square. Sense. So it's okay. only going to be a single roll for you uh, to get all the way around up there. That makes uh, sense because you, you take one swipe as someone went through. You wouldn't be like in a split second be able to take like four attacks. Right, right. Now the yeah. other thing. So Ellie, you want to do the full attack afterwards? No, no, no. I was gonna, I was gonna stay and do the full attack instead of doing this whole tumbling bullshit because it just okay. got too, too weird. Um, just, I'm, I don't know why I thought. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a full damn attack and okay. try to kill this thing. 
that's yes. standing next to me. Come on. Come. If you if you take a guarded step first, we, you get that flank bonus. But that has been noted many, many times. Uh, particularly uh, last week or maybe the week before. Uh, Eleanor doesn't care about flanking. She's like, <laughs> no, don't need it. My two hit is just too high. It's simply <laughs> too high. I don't need it. Uh, she also can't take a full attack if she takes that guarded step, so... She yeah. can with haste, right? She can with haste, I thought. Oh, oh you can with haste. Yeah. yeah. So I uh, about it's the tar- that. the targeted creature. Oh, um, um, yeah. When making a full attack, the hasted creature gets a separate move action. It's not just a move; it's any move action. Yeah. So the the reason we're getting confused about it because okay, what we yeah. did was enacted haste and then moved and then full attack. You can't do that, but she already has it enacted. Yeah. So. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, I'm gonna move up then and take my full attack against the guy okay, next great. to the. That is where you're gonna move. Wait, that's not Wait. flanking. <laughs> and you're not flanking, <laughs> and you're between two guys. And now you're in more danger. <laughs> no, but come on, I missed. Are you I'm familiar with the that. flanking rules of basic role playing games? <laughs> <laughs> I actually never understood flanking. I, th- I, th- it's I never. It's when you go here and Kreska is on the other side of you. Oh. The opponent is surrounded, and so uh, it becomes. If you can draw a line from my square it. to yours, you're flanking. You, and well, you don't get say a plus that, two you to do that here or even over here. <laughs> oh, wait. Mm. Uh, right there. She's over here. Whoa. <laughs> Where am I? I'm you can still draw a line, Matthew. <laughs> it goes through the enemy. See? Okay. Okay. I, so I never understood Smart flanking ass. in any game. Um, I always knew that I got bonuses, but I, yeah. I, I, Why did okay. you ask? All this uh, time, you, you just were like, <laughs> yeah, no, I've seen Top Gun. <laughs> Maverick have... Goose, totally crazy. That's basically what you've been doing to us every time yeah. we said flanking. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh... Top Gun is like the best choice for that joke. <laughs> I don't know why. But I do. Can I take my turn? Yeah, Can please. I just... Yeah, it's right, flat-footed, will... so no bonuses to your head. It just uh, takes a penalty to its AC. Okay. Uh, yep, and here comes the. Um, uh, so that's going to be uh, a 20, 22 against CAC on the first 22 one. 22 against CAC is a hit. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah. I did not expect that. Holy shit. Uh, okay, Big so the first attack, 25 hit. points of damage. Oh, oh amazing, <laughs> Linnea! That's very yes. good, Linnea. And then second second attack. Whoa! Big one. Ooh, uh, 18, I guess, CAC. Okay, and you're taking the minus four, right? Well, oh, yeah, well, never mind then. Wait, did you take I... a minus four on the first attack? No, I did not. Fuck. Two I... misses, then, Two by misses, old oh Linnea. I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna sit here and look up flanking. I don't understand. But you added two to the to hit, right? No. No, no. The, it's no. flat-footed. Yeah. No, it's not. Uh, no, you it's add different. two to the to hit. Yeah. Oh, so, right, flat-footed, so. Is, flat-footed is the condition that gives you a minus two uh, to your AC and you can't take AOLs, and then flanking gives you a plus two to hit. Okay. Our apologies. So, but then you would have had a... You said 22. So you would have had a 20 against CAC. 20 yeah. against CAC, which is a miss. How many points yeah. of damage did you do on that first attack? 25. 25. So I'm going to give those back to his hit points. Oh, yeah. That's how that works. Um, all right. That round took 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, turn, not round. All right, it is one of the cultists' turn, the one I like to call cultist number two, which is the one that is surrounded by Kreska and Linnea. Uh, first one will be a swing with the sword against Linnea. We're going to do a full attack here. Uh, all right, minus four against Linnea is a... That's going to be a, uh, sorry, minus four, uh, 28. Oh, man. Again. Yep, that's a, that's a hit. Man, with minus four, awesome. 28. Awesome. Now, did you roll well, or did you just, just. Uh, I mean, it had to be so high. That was a pretty good roll. They have a Over pretty 15. big to hit. It was a 15. Uh, all right, here we go. That's going to be uh, 2d8 plus 14 damage. And I rolled an 8 and a 7. So oh, that'll, be, that'll be oh. a solid 29 points of damage to Linnea. There she go. And then down she goes. No. 
It's fine, guys. I he have seven. strikes Linnea. Linnea goes down. He turns around. Let me see. Let me show you what you see, Kreska. Nailed <laughs> 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 it. Then he smiles and strikes Linnea again. So he's a bad guy from a Chuck Norris movie? Oh, wait a minute. Linnea again? Strikes Linnea again. No. Just like the dog. Just like the dog. Uh, Just like the dog. I think, is that an automatic hit or are I still going to roll? How does this work? Ooh. Um, well, I think it's just you're just going to lose Just put the unconscious it, condition on. <laughs> See what it says your AC is. I'll roll the hit because I could roll a 20, which might be even you're worse. Hopeless. Uh, yeah, go ahead and put the unconscious I'm working, yep. condition yeah. on just um, to see what your AC went down to. Uh, uh, unconscious. It's going to go down to... Yep. <laughs> I just lost eight. Okay, yeah. <laughs> wow. It's pretty bad. It's hard to defend yourself when you're sleeping. Yes. <laughs> um, oh. Okay. All right, so I think... Uh, you know, it's funny. David sent me the uh, all the rules for death and dying today, and I just uh, didn't read them. I'm like, ah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm here. I'm. I've got it. So uh, I skimmed uh, them. Yes. So Ellie went down. It's not her turn. She doesn't lose any resolve yet. However, no. on this hit, um, what's your new AC, Ellie? I guess after twenty. It would so hit. That, yeah, that makes sense because um, you're you have. You're unconscious, but you have the helpless condition, which is you're bound, sleeping, unconscious, or otherwise completely at an opponent's mercy. You're treated as having a dex of zero, Ooh. and melee's attack you gain melee attacks against you gain an additional plus four bonus. Ooh, definitely hit, hit then because they're, they're effectively prone. Right, and then what happens? Does it, it does she doesn't take more damage, so does she just lose a resolve point? She loses a resolve point uh, right away. Now the question, Ellie, is what is your total hit points? Hit points. Total. What's your total hit point number? Ah, uh, because of massive damage. Six, or, 60, 67. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. So, uh, how much damage was it, Troy? I didn't roll damage, but you know what? I'll do it. I okay. think the people at home want to see it. So the magic number is thirty-four. If this is thirty-four or more damage, it's two resolve instead of one. So oh. half half your HP, you lose an extra full HP. You automatically die. Well, you max at thirty. You can't do more than thirty. Yeah. But I. I have a good chance of taking two uh, RP away. How much RP do you have? Um, seven left. Okay. All right. That's seven out of seven? Gonna... Sorry? Seven out of seven? Total no, of seven? seven out of nine. Oh. Seven out of nine. Wow. Seven out of nine. Star... Is seven that a Star Trek character? <laughs> seven out of nine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's how much damage. I think I got you. Uh, boxcars on two D8s. That is uh, 26 points of damage. Nope. Okay. So that's not enough. If, if not your enough. full okay. HP is 67, he has to get through 34. So you're going to take so you... one, lose one resolve right now. Okay. Yep. Now, this your remaining resolve, which is six, will come into play when it comes time for you to start burning resolve to stabilize. But yep. it gives me a headache just thinking about it. That was his turn. <clears throat> Bloodthirsty cultist. Dr. Friss, you're up. Surrounded by shadows. Oh, I have a turn now. <laughs> so, welcome <laughs> to the show, Dr. Friss, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Friss is going to take a little sidestep and he is going to attempt a trick attack against the one fighting Qualo, the shadow. Okay. Oh, that's an Addy 19. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is 30 full points of cold damage against the shade. 30 cold against the one fighting uh, Qualo, so he'll take 15. And uh, yeah, he's still kicking. Okay, and he is flat-footed until the beginning of my next turn. I'll give him the old FF <clears throat> on there. All right, Dr. Friss. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. It is Shadow Number Two's turn. I believe that was Shadow Two. Sure in hell was. Shadow Number Two is going to take a full attack on Qualo. Uh, first attack is going to be a gigantic miss, I'm assuming, uh, with a uh, 17. Miss. 
Yeah. Second one against EAC. This one might hit 22 against EAC. Hits. Hits you for seven points of acid damage. <sighs> Reaches right past your chitinous shell. Uh, and it is cultist number one's turn. Listen to that ticking clock. <laughs> for it is the sound of your doom. The track is literally called TikTok. Really? Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> the kids love uh, it. <laughs> yeah, he's got a cool dance he'll do after he uh, kills Kreska. He's going to uh, start with one shot against Kreska. Let's see how it goes. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on doing two shots here. Oh, my God. Should I be mean? Oh. I should be mean. If you have to ask that question, I'm cons- I'm seriously concerned about what you're thinking about. <laughs> no, you know, his buddy's there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot against Kreska. All right, here we go. Shot against Kreska. Misses on the first one. Second one coming through is going to be close. 23, and uh, Liquidator Disintegrator is EAC, I believe. Misses either way. So, beautiful. Misses with the Liquidator Disintegrator pistol. And it is the boss's turn. Oh. No. The big bad oh. jamma. Oh, man. I... Ooh. Why'd you come down for that, you coward? Options oh. here. I got one of my really awesome spells left. Oh. <laughs> and I, wanna, I can't decide if I want to turn someone into molasses or just really, really hurt them. Um, my gut says really, really hurt them, but man, Ray of Exhaustion is just too much fun to not do, to just completely oh, take somebody no. out of the combat. Not uh, Ray of Exhaustion, please no. It just ruins the episode, it ruins everyone's fun. Just just deal 80 points of damage and put somebody down. That's more fun. Hmm. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, you know what she's going to do? <laughs> and you're going to hate this, too. Because you're like, this is a show! Why I do that? Uh, oh, the range is touch. Mirror Fuck image. my nose. <laughs> <laughs> she casts 11 images of her incorporeal self. <laughs> <laughs> she narrows it up. Fun fact is, each image shares pain. <laughs> I'm going to do no! a ray of exhaustion against either Kreska or Dax. And I want one of you to roll a d20. I want out of my hands. One to 10, it's Kreska. 11 to 20 is Dax. Well, why don't Joe, we just roll, roll off and whoever rolls lower yeah. gets, Oh, that's fun. Gets it. Yeah, let's yeah, do that. that's good. Let's do it. So are we, are, so we, it, how are we role playing this? Are the two of us uh, arguing with the monster to try to get it to hit the other? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. just no. make a case to the ghost. <laughs> it's like the two shadows no, 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 in undiscovered him. country. He's a real bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, it's a roll off. All right. Because it's fun. So I want higher, is what you're telling me. Yeah, higher's better. Okay. Take me to higher. God. Tweener. 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 Oh, a couple of tweeners. Oh, the battle of the tweeners. I think you got it. I think it's only fair if it's a tie, I get to fire off two rays. <laughs> I was 11. 12. Oh. Well, in my head, I wanted to go after Kreska because you're close, but she sealed her own fate. This is going to be a ranged EAC attack right up in your Johnson. Oh. <laughs> right up in you, Johnson. That is going to be a... What part of Kreska's anatomy are you referring to? And did Kreska <laughs> get cover through those monitors that you provided the shade when Dak shot at the shade? Excellent question. She does not. <laughs> uh, where uh, Boss Shadow has higher ground, uh, the cover is for the people below. That's going to be a 26 against EAC. Kreska! Oh, no, Matthew. That is my EAC exactly. <laughs> oh, no. Well, here's the thing. This is the kind of spell Joe hates. Kind of spell you don't mind as much. I'm going to need a fortitude save from you. You have a chance to negate. Do we have any caps? Any caps from any caps? Cap. I have a cap. Do I have a cap? I have a cap. This is a great time for a cap. Yeah. You guys bring in some Use caps from caps. home? <laughs> Where's my cap? Well, wait a minute. Hold on. It's only You would still take half, right? Is yeah. that what it is? Maybe it's not uh, worth it. I don't know. 
It, well, no, you're going to be fatigued instead of exhausted. Oh, right. You guys, okay, you, so it's not this, strength this damage. Last time, last time he cast it, you saved, and it, you were only fatigued. Right, uh, Ellie, you do have a cap, uh, Callum. Ellie, you I, save your cap for Callum whatever happens with well. your death. Sydney, I have are you... two caps. Oh. Do you bring those from caps. back from the office? Uh, I've they they've always been with me. I didn't keep them at the office. These mean so much to me. Actually, really? Matthew, I have your beautiful face on a cap. Oh, it was yeah. meant to be. It was meant she to be. Cap, cap. Cap. You Which one did he cap? spit at you? I believe yeah, you spat on. one of those. Actually, oh. I think it was this one. I'm not going to put this in my mouth. Oh. Do it. Uh, <laughs> Do it. All right. Uh, it's at the height right. of the outbreak. So I Cindy, I'd like you to, of course, throw that in the trash now that it has been used on air. Uh, <laughs> Matthew, roll twice and take the lower. Uh, 20. That's the higher? Yes. Roll to 15. Of course, it is DC 20. Yeah! <laughs> just like, just like last time. Sweet Thank God you, Sydney, because the other one was a 14. For sure, wow. this is great. Ooh. Oh my God. So right, your fortitude save is just plus five? My fortitude, yeah. Fortitude is not my. Uh, my yeah, that's, my that oh. is a bummer. Let's talk about will saves. Then we can actually have oh. a discussion. Worst part of that is I was just waiting around for the cap talk and I cut my finger inside of my beer can oh. and it's oh. just oh, the worst oh. that's gonna be a, a day long a, a multiple day pain so really just a terrible round for me all the show all must around. go on the show must go on you know? <laughs> he's Fifth bleeding out Hamlet, guys uh, <laughs> all right Callum you are up I am bleeding out so am I fati- <laughs> I'm fatigued you are is fatigued. That- <laughs> yes okay. you are Thank fatigued you. yes you um, are okay. fatigued for the next nine minutes for the next Nine minutes. David, so, I have a question. Uh, yeah. I'm right here. Okay, Troy, <laughs> you can weigh in. What does a straight line mean in this game? So it can, like, at a diagonal, is that still a straight line? If Yeah, right? as long as nothing's yeah. obstructing you. As long as you cool. don't turn, that's cool. a straight now, line. It, it depends. Uh, if we're talking flanking, it's center to center. You know, shooting can be... It looks at corners, but um, yes. Here's what I here's what I'd like to do. What do you think? Show me your line. Callum is going to take the battery out of the disintegrator pistol, liquid liquidator pistol that he had gotten before, and magically he is going to turn it into a powerful explosive device, and he is going to chuck it directly at Mrs. Uh, Firehair over there across the room. Since he's also on higher ground, I assume that he would be able to hit the monitors or her directly in the straight line. Yeah, if you're aiming for her, she'll get a little cover bonus, but you can, you do have a beat on her to do that, yeah. Cool. Now, I, what a, what ability is it to turn batteries into explosive devices? This is my spell called Explosive Blast. If everyone could please Google Explosive Blast. <laughs> you magically read transform read it a used battery. Into a powerful explosive device, propelling wow, it in okay. a straight line. That, that's almost exactly what you said before. <laughs> <laughs> Read it again. How, no. How uh, it sounds like it's going to work. Oh, um, shit. What okay. is your range yeah. to hit? Um, okay, so that's what I'm confused about. N- uh, no, is so it- this is, it's just going to be a reflex save to have. Yeah, it's, oh, you don't okay. even have to roll to hit. Oh, it's really? a, and it's a hundred feet plus ten feet per level. So wow! Oh, great! So cover won't even come into play. It's a twenty foot radius burst, though. So um, actually, it that should be fine. It doesn't uh, even Kr- say that. In Kreska's there. in it. Oh, Kreska is. Yeah. Ah, so you'd fuck. have to actually target a little further away. You know that g- explosive looking generator thing in the back. Yes, I will target it at the explosive looking generator thing in the back. Is what I meant to say. Thank you, David. Wow! Very okay. cool. Bold. Uh, all right, so I just have to make a reflex save. Yes. Yes. Well, David, also, what's my plus nine? Uh, Verse... Plus nine is for your like range spell attacks and stuff. Because it it has a DC, but then it says comma plus nine versus SR. So um, if you if you send the battery through a narrow opening, you must make a ranged oh. attack. I see. Um, I see. No, no, that's not what that is. That's talking about spell resistance. That's saying your caster level is nine. So if you had to do a check against spell resistance, it's right, plus right. nine. Sure. Okay. Never mind. Thank you. And also, thank you for the explanation for the armor class. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. So you are just going to throw it back there. There is no attack. It just rolls a reflex save. 
Yes, please. Craziness. Here we go. Here's the reflex save, natural 20. Makes. Oh, oh, oh come on. on. Half damage. Half damage. Oh. Half damage. Half damage. So and incorporeal. And then half again. Quarter damn. Maybe, you but got the quarter damn. Sydney, maybe you it's, should say how many dice you're rolling, though. Because that's. Yeah, well, let me say kicker. one thing. One, it's all magic. So that's how a Callum works. It's all magic damage. I don't know if that makes a difference. Doesn't. And two, damn it. <laughs> and two, <laughs> I'm rolling <laughs> 96. Oh, Ooh. come on. So let's Roll super high. hope. That's a decent amount of nine of, of D6s. <laughs> <laughs> the 90s? It's a decent amount of nine. It's okay, about so that's, nine. that's going to be 27 points of damage. Halved. Uh, one, and then one. halved again. That's one. So it's six, <laughs> six points of damage. And six points again? of damage. Because yes. he rolled, because he saved the reflex. The damage was so pathetic, she won't even share that pain with you because she Troy? can't get all nine. Troy? Yes? But I did throw it at the big generator behind her, so tell me what I did. You hit the generator, and uh, it's not a generator, um, but you hit it, and... Uh, <laughs> The guy on all the screens is like, hey! <laughs> Cut that shit out! <laughs> that shit wasn't cool! That's you monster. upstart teen! Generate like a thing! Did I break it? You leave it alone! You kids have no <laughs> respect for our equipment! Don't you, you stop, do that you stop again. that! Hey. Should, you, should you be home on a step by step? <laughs> uh, okay. no, it, it sends blasts everywhere, but the. You know, it looks a little messed up, not gonna lie. Um, if Frisk wants to access these computers later, it might be a little harder to do so now. Damn it. Um, oh my. Yeah. What are you oh, doing, yeah. boy? You. I'm going to sit down. So let me tell you this. It definitely had an effect. Just upped the computer check for these broken, flaming God. computers. Tough combat, huh? Really tough. Um, I'm surprised you guys took this door. Let's keep moving to shadow number one. Shadow Stevens over here is going to be like, hey, you leave those monitors alone. And he's going to attack you twice with an incorporeal touch. Cool. And I'm going to roll a natural 20. I can feel it. I can feel it down in my it's plums. Coming. No, I already rolled my natural 20. However, that is going to be probably a miss. 17 against Eak. Big miss. Big miss. And then another miss with the second touch. Nice, nice Callum. <sighs> You feel this cold hand reach through you. Uh, and remember, you are no longer invisible. It is the top of a new round, and it is Dax's turn. Dax, I feel like it was an hour since your last turn. Because it was. <laughs> because it literally was. <laughs> I wasn't bleeding back then. Last time you took a turn, I wasn't bleeding. I've had a lot of time to think about this turn. You'd think I'd have something better. I don't. I don't think that. Um, I don't think all that. Right. Uh, yeah. uh, that's smart. Uh, I am going to use my ability at this stage, uh, keep fighting, uh, my ninth level fighter ability. I'm going to spend a resolve point as a move action to uh, heal 2d6 plus 9 stamina right now. Ooh, uh, nice. So I'm just going to get back in the fight. Hopefully it's a good roll. Uh, uh, 15. So right down the middle. Uh, 15. So I heal 15 stamina. Uh, so that's good. Just, just planning for the long haul here. Uh, and then I will take one shot at the cultist that is, uh, just disgustingly attacking Linnea's, uh, unconscious body. Yes. Real quick on that, so, Joe, but, uh, before you keep rolling, did you use that already? Um, mm -hmm. in this combat? No? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. No. Uh, unless I completely forget, but I, I, I don't yeah, think so I did. It's ago. not marked on my sheet. So. <laughs> David, we've only had two it. turns in this combat. Yeah, you never know. You sneak in <laughs> one. <laughs> um, uh, I believe Linnea might have used it. Did you yeah, use someone, it? Someone combat? did at some point within the last few episodes. That's the only reason I ask. Because it's once yeah. per, uh, you have to rest in between. You can use it again. Yep. Uh, short rest, though, which is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ten minutes. I, uh, yeah, I used mine last time. Okay. okay. Here we go. One shot at the cultist hovering over... Linnea. 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 Coming in hot. I'm uh, going to do deadly aim as well. Okay. Nice. Please let this be good. Natural one. Oh, no. That's oh. not good. That's actually the worst roll you could have made. Um, That's a very bad roll. 
And some of those I'm fumbles so allow you Ellie. to hit like your nearby allies too. It's not so my this intention. Could be really so bad. bad. So bad. Ellie's on a ticking clock. Um, please, <laughs> let's take a fumble. If you have any from Sweden, um, now's the time to call them in. Uh, <laughs> oh, a Swedish God. fumble. They would never. <laughs> they would never. Come on. Oh boy, that's um, that is that is astounding. That is astounding for that natural one to come there. All right, uh, this one from Devin <laughs> in in Melbourne, Florida. Uh, Mrs. Mud, uh, your communicator buzzes with a call from your estranged wife or ex-lover. <gasps> This is timing. Plot. The woman this with is a wow. face you can't see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the times the to develop yeah. a story. <laughs> Put this on silent. <laughs> this is astounding. The communicator buzzes. It's my Lashunta love. <laughs> yeah, you just hear as you're like aiming a shot. You got a perfect shot. The thing might as well be next to you. It's so impossible to miss. And you just hear. <sighs> Dex. I love you. <laughs> and, and what happens? I am paralyzed for one round and shaken for 1d4 minus one rounds. <laughs> shaken for <laughs> one God. round after that. Paralyzed so paralyzed one. one round, shaken oh, one shit. round. Oh, brutal. Mm. Tax, I love I you. I love you. <laughs> I would be Tax. paralyzed too. To be I'm in the building. I'm what? the guy on the screen. <laughs> Tell your friend to stop throwing stuff at the generator. <laughs> uh, brutal. Absolutely brutal. Okay. Well, at least you didn't shoot me. Yes, that's, that's good. True. At least I didn't knock you down another resolve. Uh, is that your turn? That is my turn, yeah. Qualo. All right. Uh, Qualo at this point becomes fully photonically attuned and you go. see some solar acceleration amp up. Every every one of his allies within 30 feet is now affected by haste. So who does yes. that get as we look at the come map here? On, definitely Chris, on. definitely Give Callum. Give me the juice! Dax is in there! Oh. Linnea is out of it as okay. you are uh, on an embank, I, like there's a distance from going up. Yep. Uh, I will say... Dax is in and Kreska is in. So everybody okay. but Len Am. And she already had haste, and I <laughs> yeah, wouldn't want to hastily going. spend it away her remaining anyway. resolve points anyway. Uh, Qualo uh, will also... Uh, yeah, so... Shoot, 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 shoot after that. Um, Qualo is going to cover himself uh, with a Corona of Flame as a Ooh. move action. Just pour a Corona on him. Like yeah. a spring break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's stressful. I need to be in the island life right now. Maybe I got a line. <laughs> uh, so this attack is at his full bonus. Here it comes. Okay. 31 to hit. Ooh. <laughs> that is the opposite Ooh. of a one. For a total. Please finish this of shadow 32 off. 32 points of fire damage. Back where I come from, that's 16 points of fire damage. And he is still up. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> oh god. Ah, stupid shades. I hate oh shadows. So I much. hate shadows. I hate incorporeal creatures. I never Somebody pull down the shades. It's getting light in here. We got a corona party coming up. It is Kreska's oh, turn. Oh, you know what? I can take. No, I'm not. I'm going to keep that at the full attack action. I'm done. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. It's okay. We're all friends here. It's Kreska's turn. Kreska, you know what this dude's all about. He's yeah. out for the kill. Kill or be killed. You still gotta so, contend with Mama over here. Mama Fats. And suddenly I'm the only one up here, huh? Who, uh... Yeah. The only one up here who can do anything. Because Dax, Dax, Dax paralyzed. is paralyzed. Linnea is down. Oh my god, uh, imagine if Ray of Exhaustion hit, and then Dax is paralyzed. She just oof. swoops down and eats Linnea. <laughs> Can he? No. So they wouldn't eat. Those Ninth shadow level. creatures wouldn't eat. They, they're starving. No. Okay. I might regret this, but Kreska is going to take a full attack action and attack twice. So that's a minus 40 each attack, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, he is no longer flanked because nope. your partner is unconscious and dying. All right. First attack. 
Uh, Natty 18 for a 22. Against? Nice. KAC is with the claws. Just hit. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Huge. That is 22 points of damage. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Damn. All he's right, dead. Matthew. He's Can dead. you hit? Wait, no, he's, he's alive. Mm. Second attack. Uh, five and you got one off. You weren't confident about one, um, and that one hit. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to so land. So I can take a move action now because of haste, right? A separate move action. Sounds like it. Yes, it's part of a full attack action. You get basically an extra move. So any move action I can take that would distract him from Linnea long enough that Dax can become not paralyzed. Tough call. You pull away, you might just sit there and hack away at Lena. Here's what I'm going to do. As a Please. move action, I am going to slowly caress the cultist's cheek. Do you yeah, say anything? I, nope. I do it extra creepily. <laughs> <laughs> that... That does fall under the move action of manipulating an item, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you caress the cultist's cheek. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going for, like, just chaotic enough right. to make him a little jealous. Just weird enough to make him think about his actions. Well, let's think about Linnea's actions here, because it's been a while since we've had to deal with the... Uh, this issue, and now that you're high level, it becomes a little bit more complicated because the whole like quarter of your resolve points. Dave, but why don't you take us uh, take us on a stroll through how this all works? Sure. So, if you were to do nothing, Ellie, at the end of each of your turns, you're going to keep losing those resolve points as the clock ticks down. However, see resolve. If you, if you have resolve points left, you can choose to stabilize. So if you're dying and you have enough resolve points, you can spend a number of resolve equal to one quarter of your maximum, minimum one, max three. So in your case, you have nine. Uh, so that will That's be two. two resolve points to stabilize. And if you stabilize, you're no longer dying, you're unconscious, and you have zero HP. And then the subsequent turn, you can choose to spend a point to stay in the fight, get a hit point back, and basically stand up and start fighting again. Yep. Assuming you I, don't get I, hit. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with stabilizing, so I lose two resolve points. Yep. Can I throw something out there? Okay. Please. You might not want to do that. You might want to just take the one resolve and keep dying, because if this guy's gonna hit you, you're gonna spend two. He's gonna hit you and take away another one, and you're just dying again. Or two. Yeah. Or he could do two. I don't. Um. Yeah, it's a I very was... weird situation that's very rare, but you're dealing with these cultists of pure death. In any situation where you weren't surrounded, you would always yeah. spend the two to stabilize. That's true. Yeah, I was considering that. Um, I wonder how. I wonder how long he can. St yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I also made a mistake before in the fight, uh, and so now I'm like kicking myself, and it's my own fault. Uh, but I don't think Linnea would have. It doesn't matter. But uh, but I'm like. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna listen to you and take one one minus well, right now. We've all so, been there. Well there's there's one thing though there is so you're gonna take one regardless on this turn. If a hit gets off, you're going to lose at least one, if not one more. Right? So you could lose up to three by not stabilizing. But if Whereas you do stabilize, you could lose it's a, four. It's a guaranteed well no, it's a guaranteed two, but that first hit, um, you're not dying though. So that first uh, hit will take you Back to uh, dying. To, back to dying. So you don't lose a point. And then if he hit again, it would be a third point. So it's minimum yeah. two, maximum three, whereas the other one is minimum one, maximum four. It could still be more than three. It could still be four if he does at least half the HP on that. On that second oh, right, 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 right. Right. But Ellie, what do you do? Well, that, that's a totally different decision. I wasn't thinking about it that way. Cool. Um, I think I'm going to stabilize then. So I have a chance to come back in the fight and can yep. create some drama. Burn two resolve, bringing you down to four remaining resolve, and you are and, now stabilized and not dying. And isn't there's no rule that I need a certain amount of resolve points to be able to stabilize? 
You have uh, to have the resolve points to stabilize. Oh, yeah. It's a, a, yeah, a quarter of your total. So let's say you had one resolve left. You need a minimum of two to do it. You would not be yeah. able to stabilize. Yeah, yeah Burke, in, back in the early part of the game, it was one. But once you guys started getting past eight total resolve, you got to burn two. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Again, I don't think we've really dealt with this yet. All right, so Linnea is kicking. It is the cultist's turn. The cultist uh, struck Linnea, knocked her down struck her again while she was down. Kareska, uh, Kareska, Kareska, uh, <laughs> rubs <laughs> his cheek after hitting once and missing once. He will take two attacks. The first one against Kareska. He's got his long sword out. Here we go. Natty 19 will hit Kareska for a lot of damage. We need to get rolling like that. We need to roll like that. That would be yeah. better. I've had some good rolls here. Okay, damage is going to be 20 points of slashing damage. Okay. And the second attack will be on Linnea. Natty 15 hits Linnea for, uh, I guess I do need to roll the damage just to see if it will take away two. Uh, oh, uh, no, 26 points of damage again. So you're just back down to dying, and she loses one resolve there? None, according uh, to David. Yeah, I don't think so, because she loses the resolve. Um, it, you only lose that extra resolve if you take damage um, while you are dying. And right. stabilizing means you're no longer dying. So, okay. so that attack just brought you back in. to dying, yep. um, which means you'll have to possibly burn two of your remaining four on your next turn if you cannot kill this cultist. Oh, man. This is gonna be tricky. I'll tell you right now, this is gonna be very close. Um, okay, the tournament continues here. That cultist went, it is Dr. Friss's turn. Okay, Friss is gonna try to finish it's... off this shade once and for all. He knows the situation is dire. Levels this Come thing, on, get the trick attack off. Finish it. Uh, Natty 16, that's a hit. That's a hit. 29 points of cold damage. Oh, man. Have. And the shade is done. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. All right. Really? Freeing up some space. Two Freeing up some space. have been closed. One remains. Two cultists and a boss shade. Big round for Friss. And can I actually, can I climb up this wall to get onto the upper level? Sure. Let's say uh, half speed and don't even worry about the climb check. Okay, because uh, I have 70 feet of movement right now, so I'm Yeah, fine. you're fine. <laughs> yeah. So right, just so like, yeah, boom. 35 feet Jumps over, over the wall, like, on top of the computer console with his gun out, ready to help. Great. All right, so Friss is up there, Scamper's up there with ease. Uh, it is now Shadow number two's turn. Was that Shadow two that Friss just took out? Uh, it was. So nice. It is now Cultist number one's turn. Cultist number one will fire off a shot at Kreska. Let's see. I'm going to do two shots. First shot will be at Kreska. That is going to be a 17. Misses. Uh, second shot will be at Kreska as well. Doesn't see Frisk coming up the way. That is a uh, 28. Is a hit, I'm assuming. Okay, I see. Uh, oh, sorry. Not 28. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, 28 against uh, EAC. Because oh, it's yeah. acid damage. Ooh, nice. I haven't hit with this yet. Uh, let me get my D10 out. Here we go. Ooh, that's going to be 13 points of acid damage, Kreska. Ooh. Okay. How you feeling? Uh, I'm taking a whole lot of damage up here. I'm taking a whole lot of punishment. Are you, you out of stamina? stamina? No, I've still got a little bit of stamina left. Okay, good. Okay. Just a little. It is Mama Shadow's turn. Mama Shadow is going to come flying down. Oh, no. To Kreska. And she is going to... She can flank. Yes, thank you. Really, David? Are you too? Oh, <laughs> my... It's for the fans. Hey, hey, David, could you let Troy play his character, please? Uh, really? You know what? Some, sometimes actually... characters make mistakes, David. Oh, yeah, because I can move five feet. he was role-playing it. <laughs> the world okay. has too many lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> she is going to... Uh, also try to touch Kreska, similar to her buddies. 
Right, that's what I want to do. I used up the, I used up that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this will be fun. Here we go. Ooh. Uh, oh, Natty 17. Oh, God. Definitely He's rolling absolute Oof. rocks. His damage die, too. They're all eights, sixes, nines, like every damage die. The eight and a seven on 2d8 earlier was really the... Uh, Oh, two threes on 2d4, uh, three, six, and another three. So nine plus uh, nine, 18 points of acid damage. 18? 18 and acid. N- no Ooh. save on this? Just an attack? No save. Okay. Just I'm an in, attack. I am into my HP. <sighs> no. This is the captain speaking. If anyone could get to the upper level. <laughs> I could use a little assistance. <laughs> Please wow. save me. Please. <laughs> Please come up here and save Please me. Please come up here and Ca- help. Captain, Captain is it's calm. Callum. She's been dead Captain, for minutes. It's, it's Callum. You're on the lower level. Are you okay? No, I'm on the middle level. It's upper to the rest of them. Huh? Specifically you. <laughs> no, I'm We're... on the upper level. Captain, it no, sounds no. like you're hallucinating. No, no. <laughs> no, Callum, you're wrong. You're, you're wrong, Callum. What? <laughs> You're at the bottom of a flight of steps. Callum's high as a kite. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you hopped off of those goofballs. Wait, I somebody needs to tell me. You. Somebody needs to tell me. Am I at the bottom of the steps? You're at the you're bottom, at the bottom yeah. of the steps. It does look like what the, 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 it, it, the, the map looks like you're at the top of the stairs, but you're actually at the bottom of the stairs. This is fucked up. <laughs> 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 Wait. Yeah, when you said that before, when you were like, and now Calum is on the same level with the boss, I'm going to shoot this explosive over. I was just like, I'm just going to be quiet. I, I, don't, know, I don't know what Sydney's looking at, but let's just I keep mean, the action yeah, flowing. I apologize. I compl- the map was drawn by MC Escher, so it's very confusing. <laughs> no, yeah. truly, I, I am stone cold sober, aside from my beer, but I really thought that, like. <laughs> <laughs> and the pound of weed I smoked before we started. <laughs> no, 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 it's not weed. All right, at least now I what know. What the hell's that smell? Just the sweat. Uh, <laughs> it's not weed, it's just sweat. The it's Sydney not weed, story. I'm just sweaty. Callum um, is slowly losing his mind uh, as Kreska cries into the con. Uh It is Callum's turn, though. Callum, you are on the top level of this castle. <laughs> Not tell up and down, apparently. I um, love that okay. they're quibbling about this while Kreska's dying. Yeah, yeah. No, I, well, I think they're like 15, 15 feet level. from each other. And he's like, wait, wait, what, wait, what level are you on? I'm, I think I'm on the upper level. I, I think no, Lin- I'm, on, I'm on the upper level. Linnea is in the shadow, sh- valley of death, and he's just like. Oh. And we're doing, we're doing this scene where he's like, what, is you, what does mine say? Dude, what does mine say? Oh, what does it say? Cool. Sweet, sweet. sweet. Who's on first? Sweet. Uh, all right. Calum's going to run up the stairs to the higher level, hearing Kreska's call, here I come, and can I step in front of Linnea's body as a shield? Can I take her space and stand there? Uh, where she's unconscious, I'll say, yeah, I think you can, right, David, by the rules? She's can you stand prone. in an unconscious person's space? I, yeah, I think so. You can stand in a dead person's space, and I mean... Oh, she's really as good as dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, what well, happens Callum, if I wake up, though? <laughs> There's the staircase. <laughs> this is truly what I see when I look at this map. I'm like, I don't know, it could be anything. Uh, it's beautiful. Thank you, Troy. You're welcome. <laughs> Can I play the game now? No. <laughs> Watch it move. Okay. Oh. You Oh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I'm gonna buff. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I think you can. Uh, she's she's helpless. So okay. Um, yeah, I'll say you can. If she wakes up and stands up, we'll deal with that then. Uh, I'm gonna step into the space uh, to can play at the flanking game. All and right, flanky. Yes. I am going to. Let also me just help you out. Put an X on Linnea. Oh. <laughs> uh, the ruling. The ruling is yes. You can. Uh, you can't end your movement in the same space as another creature unless that creature is helpless. Oh, cool. Cool. oh. and she is. And she Perfect. is effectively uh, helpless. Totally uh, is. And I am going to do exactly as uh, Fire Lady did, and I'm gonna hurl my force disc. And Ooh. I'm gonna do it first directly at the dude in front of me, and then hopefully it'll bounce off him, and then I can hit the fire lady. Amazing. Okay, so, yeah, you could hit all three of these Johns. Mm. Let's see. Are there? Are, is everyone's name John? Provokes, yes. doesn't it? 
Uh, um, is it a yeah? It work does it work like a ranged, uh, a normal ranged attack, and that it provokes? Well, it's I would casting assume, a spell. Yeah, and it's ranged. I would assume, um, unless the spell says does not provoke at the end of the text. Yes, it has to be in there. Otherwise, uh, when the opponent in a space uh, you threaten casts a spell or uses a spell like ability, so. Okay. Unless um, so it obvious, states specifically. Yeah, obviously remember, you could move because you're not getting a flanking bonus. However, anywhere you move to not provoke, uh, the boss will be out of range. Uh, no, I mean... Oh, no, Calum, no, no, because they're all within 15 feet of each other. Yeah. So you yeah, can stand Calum, here and do it if exactly, you want. And or, or just one space down there and it would but work But I won't fine. protect Linnea and I won't get a flanking bonus for Kreska. But remember, though, if you You provoke, don't get a flanking bonus on this... Yeah, Kreska won't get a flanking bonus because That's I won't true. be standing there. True. That All is. Right. That is true. You want to take that sweet provoke? Yeah. Remember. I'll take it. Remember. No, 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 but you, but you'll just lose the spell. You'll it's lose not the an spell option. if you get hit. Oh. Oh. Also, uh, if you sorry. don't have a, if you don't have a melee weapon in your hand, you wouldn't be threatening. So I don't think you'd give me the flanking bonus, right? Uh, yeah, I think that is. I don't also think you have to have a weapon. I mean, you can always attack unarmed, even if it's very ineffective. Uh, let me look. Yeah, this is tough. Oh, man. I appreciate what um, you want to do. I just like, I think you either have to do damage to people or defend Linnea. I, I don't yep. think you can do both. But, yeah, but sometimes I, by doing damage, you can defend, you know, if, especially if you kill that cultist. Yeah. It doesn't, it actually doesn't say anything about a weapon. All it says is you have to have a reach greater than zero and then <laughs> uh, be directly through the opposite border. For for now, I'm not going to do it because I think it it's not going to, my point is to do the spell, so I'm I'm just gonna yeah. stand back here, a uh, little away from Dax, and okay. I'm going to yeah. Show me what you got. Uh, this is going to be against EAC. This one will do three d six. If you uh, hit the other ones, it'll be two d six. But can that, you hit? <laughs> that's a twenty six to hit the first guy. That's a hit. Beautiful, yeah. Calibre. Yes. That's so huge. That first right. hit is enormous. Come on. Come on! Is it 3d6? 3d6. That's 12 for the first guy. Okay. Still yeah. up. Uh, do you want to try and hit her next or the other cultist? Uh, it does not matter to me. I'm going to hit the other cultist first. Okay. And then Probably it'll have a better ricochet. chance to hit uh, him and then use the highest. Uh, it doesn't matter, though, because uh, you don't have to keep hitting. Um yeah, it'll ricochet regardless. Oh, ricochet yeah, ricochets ricochets. regardless. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now, no, the question, that... Yeah, I was going to say, Troy, the question is, uh, is that top shadow within 15 feet or because of, like, the elevation, is it not? Linearly, yeah, she, linearly she, it's 15. She she moved. Oh, you mean this guy down here? These two, so you, yeah. You can't attack that one. You can attack this cultus and this shadow. It, if she went up, down, up. Yeah, no, this one is more than 15 feet away okay, because fine. of the uh, I just, thing. Just had to ask. Yeah, just thank you, yeah, good. Thank you. Uh, that next one was a natural twenty. Uh, oh, for this guy. oh, beautiful! Uh, uh, all right, so that'll be roll four d six. Four d six. Do you double it or do you roll twice? <laughs> Has this guy uh, been hit yet? Uh, excellent question. Yes. Yeah, Grant. Grant was pretty convinced. Okay. 4d6, 19. 19. Points of damage. That's okay. good. Right. That's and now good. against... Two sixes in that. Mama. All right. Uh, let's hope I can still do as good for Mama. And this is force, so this will all go through if you hit her. Yep. Come on. Come on. Wait, let me count. No. You got this. <laughs> 20. 20 to hit? Against? Not a natural. Uh, uh, EAC. It's a 4 EAC. C. 20 is a miss oh. against oh, her. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Brutes. <laughs> Magoots. Oh. Shadow number one's it's turn. Fine. It's fine. It's nice fine. Nice gift skin. You're crunching <laughs> it over there. Oh. Shadow number one is going to uh, keep Qualo busy, um, but he does have to move, so he'll only be able to do one attack. I wish they had some more cool things they can do. They don't. Um, however, a very good chance of hitting. He misses with the incorporeal touch, just <sighs> right through the shell again. No damage. Next round, Dax. Uh, I imagine his circuits just 
go haywire. It's like emotions are creeping in and shorting uh, oh. his brain pan, so he's paralyzed uh, and the round is over. He is paralyzed. But now he's no longer paralyzed. Just shaken he shakes it fatigue. off, comes back in it, but he's still shaken. What was that? What was that? Or who? Or when? It's Qualo's turn. Qualo, one dude left. Maybe a woman. Okay. Each creature. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to affect my teammates. Qualo, who is encrusted in plasma. Gross. He looks like the human torch, but a human snail, a human Qualo, <laughs> is going to leave the ground itself and fly oh. directly oh. over Linnea's space, keeping his legs spread wide to not touch Linnea's body and burn her and will attack the cultist that has been torturing oh, her. Right so. in the flanking position. Oh, All right, awesome. let's, yeah. Let me resolve the attack of opportunity from the shadow you flew away from. Okay. Uh, probably a miss with a 20. Uh, miss. So flying over Linnea's body, you angle it down. Uh, what is, is it a cone or is it a line? Because the cone is a little tricky with Kreska there. Uh, the cone of my flight? No, the cone of the attack. Or are you just swinging down? I'm just swinging. Oh, I, th- I thought you were doing some sort of flame no, 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 uh, no, no, no. situation. Just, it's just that the attack itself will count as fire damage and will be from a flaming solar weapon. Here it comes. Huge. That will be to hit a 27. That oh, is a yes. hit. Okay, here yes. we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Uh, out of the box. 27 points of fire damage. Ooh. He's dead. Fallen cultist. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I said cultist okay. weird. Cult- uh, cultist. Cult- cultist. Cultist. <laughs> and and cultist. for the record, you do need a weapon to flank. I found that in a totally separate section, but you do. You got it. So whatever. I've messed oh, up need, enough rules tonight. You I'm need a weapon for what, David? I, I uh, to flank. To ah, flank. Okay. We're talking good, about good it now. We'll forget yeah, by next week, red. but it's good to know yeah. now. No, uh, I, it's in red now. Hopefully okay. I'll <laughs> Captain K, uh, the cultist has fallen. Any emotional feelings? You did caress his cheek. <laughs> oh no! That, I, I was just trying to create confusion. Is that going to be your story back on the ship? <laughs> <laughs> your secret's safe with me. Take your turn. Uh, okay, Kreska is going to take a guarded step back now that cultist is down, uh, and she is going to cast Force Blast, which will emanate in a cone and hit both of these <gasps> these guys, but not reach Doctor Friss. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Nice, what kind of save uh, we talking here? Reflex save for both. All right, uh, let's do uh, the cultist first. Reflex is going to be a uh, natty nineteen made it, and then the second one, the uh, the boss shadow, we'll call her. Reflex is going to be uh, probably a miss sixteen. That fails. Yeah, oh, yes. so that nine points of force damage to the mama and four to the other guy. And then additionally, the force in the spell effectively uh, attempts to bull rush all creatures in the area. So I'm going to attempt a, a single bull rush combat maneuver using my caster level plus my key ability score as my attack bonus. And then you, I compare that to your KAC plus eight. Okay, just do me a favor. Instead of me taking that nine points of damage, why don't you go ahead and take that nine points of damage? Uh, unless oh. you pass this save. Will save? Give me a w- 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 will. Uh, yes, uh, is it will? Well, yeah. Or is yeah. it share pain? Yeah, will save. Natty seventeen for oh, twenty-eight. Oh, 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 nice. Oh. You uh, don't try to out mystic a mystic. Unless <laughs> the foe succeeds, uh, so I I lose the uh, resolve point and take the damage, right, David? Uh, you lose resolve point and take the damage. Yep. Wow. You spent great. the resolve for the action. You can't okay. penetrate the steel trap that's Kreska's mind. I guess this not. was formed in a in, a, in solitary confinement over 16 years, my friend. <laughs> she has a story too. Uh, I'm sure she does. Beat <laughs> Cat plus eight. Okay. <laughs> You're not the only one with the backstory. 27. <laughs> 27. Uh, Cat plus eight is not enough to bull rush. Oh. She's a shadow oh. man. She's what about the guy? Uh, he succeeded on his reflex save. Does he still do it? Oh, um, uh, that's a good point. Let me look. More of a question. 
No, it says additionally the force yeah. from the spell effectively attempts to bull rush all creatures in the area. Okay, so CAC plus eight for that dude. Uh, you said 30? 27. 27? No, that is not enough. Okay. Uh, they mm. stand resolute. All right. And we that go. That is uh, my turn. All the way back to little Susie four resolve points. <laughs> that cultist has fallen, the one that's been just chomping on your resolve. But the I'm boss gonna... shadow still lives. What do you do? I'm gonna stabilize. <sighs> Again. Two resolve left. Um, <sighs> two. Ah! Well, I know. Yep, so uh, that's my turn. <laughs> that's Let's project this forward into the future one round. You spend one more resolve to get back in the fight, to get to one hit point. You go yeah. down again, that's it. Yeah, I know. This but is so crazy. Because it could happen. It could very well happen. Well, but I mean... It's the uh, tension, the tension does. Is, no does one it, die in Starfinder? Mm-hmm. Yeah, who said that again? Who said that? <laughs> I think it's in the Bible. I think, yeah. I, I, think I did actually. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's confused biblical scholars for centuries. <laughs> it only made sense now. <laughs> it early twenty first century. <laughs> it would have been cultist number two's turn, the one that's been that's taken you to this place where you're sitting at only two RP. But he's gone, and now it's Friss's turn. There are three enemies left. What do you do, Friss? Uh, Friss, he sees what's going on and yeah he sees that the big threat is this boss ghost but he knows that it's probably best to whittle these guys down first so he's going to try he's going to do a trick attack against the remaining cultist and rolls to hit and that is a 24 against flat footed EAC that is a hit yes Yes. 24 points of damage 24 points of damage, and he is and, still up. And, and he's flat-footed for us, or? No, I'm going to give him seven points of bleed. That's instead really, really smart, which he'll take yeah. on his turn, right? Yes. Okay. It's top of his turn? Uh, I think yeah. it's... Okay. Mm, it's end of his turn? turn? I think it's end. I'll figure it out, though. Okay. Can um, can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, can can uh, any of the... Uh, uh, can the shadow and the pers- uh, occultist who are still left, uh, occultist, can they hit Linnea while Qualo is standing on top of her? You know, it's an excellent question. Um, and it is the cultist turn. The cultist who will be taking seven, seven points of bleed. At the beginning of his turn. He'll take it. You know what? I'll allow And it. he goes down. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Crazy. Good, great job, Fris. Wow, what a great mm-hmm. move great that I job. did. Man, that was so clutch doing that seven. I'm Kreska. so great. <laughs> Kreska, <laughs> Qualo, and Callum have built this wall around Linnea. It's a good wall. It's a great wall. You might call it a great wall. <laughs> but some walls oh, no. are meant to be blown up by incendiary grenades. Oh, <laughs> no. That's going to pull you... And we'll see you next week. No, 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 we have to play it out. We have to play it out. Come on. on. Hey, Troy, I have more compliments. I have more compliments. (laughs) (laughs) What if I crit? What What if I crit? No, don't crit, don't crit. My God. You're so dead. You're so dead. (laughs) So dead. So dead. Dead Dead like your mama. (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, Ellie. Oh.